Howdy folks, it's Jeff with I Download Blog. What Whoa, blowing up. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's Jeff with I Download Blog. We are talking about Spring to Mize. It, of course, this is how Spring to Mize used to look. Spring to Mize 2, that is. It used to look on the iPad. It was running in 2X mode. It wasn't very pretty on the iPad's large screen. Now, you see this. Spring to Mize 2 has been updated, indeed, for the iPad 2, the iPhone 4S. It just basically has been updated to work with all devices now, and it looks really good. There's some new options as well, cover flow, dock effects, there's a transparent notification center, there is the ability to have uh, different icons in both landscape and portrait mode on the iPad. So I'm gonna show you how this works here now. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade, spring to my two. There we go, let's confirm and respring. There we are. Now here's the new spring to my two. Notice how the entire screen is used how it's laid out efficiently, and it takes advantage of that real estate, that screen real estate that we have for the iPad 2's larger screen. So let's check out some of the options here. Here is the uh, cover flow effect that we talked about. Now, Spring to Mize formerly had a cover flow effect, but this one's a lot more robust. There's some extra options in here. There's some sliders you can adjust to really get the effect, the exact effect that you're looking for, whether it's concave or convex. And you can see you can adjust the curves, the effect, and the perspective. And here's what you get uh, when you have that in there. So that is one of the new features in Spring to Mize. To. Another one of the new features is, of course, the ability to adjust the number of icons in a row, or the number of icons in a row in both portrait and landscape mode on your iPad 2 or your iPad. So let me just show you that here. Use custom number, make sure that's enabled, and then you have the uh, portrait mode, and then you could set the landscape mode, and these will dynamically change just like they do on a stock iPad, but you can actually adjust the amount of icons for both landscape and portrait mode now. So you can see me, watch when I switch around to uh, portrait mode here, this landscape with eight icons, now it switches to six dynamically, just like normal. But of course you can choose how many icons you want now, just like that. Now I'm not a big fan of uh, bunching a bunch of icons together on the iPhone, but on the iPad it makes sense, especially since you have the dynamic switching between portrait and landscape. And then another option here is notification center. You have transparency, which you can ena enable now for the notification center, just like that. And there's a few more options. I'll let you guys find those yourselves. But the bottom line is this, if you're running Spring to Mize 2, you need to head over to Cydia to make sure you update to the latest version. It's a free update. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.